doing a product review on C140 from PidZoom. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're doing a product review on the C140 from PidZoom. This is a product that's uh, been produced by Bob Yan. He was the CEO of InMotion. Uh, so I'm proudly uh, an affiliate with them and they've sent me some things to try. So this is one of them. Um, I'll soon be getting the horn and the monitoring system for the tire pressure. So today we're gonna to be looking at this. Um, why I think this is a, a pretty much essential. Uh, um, as you can see now, we've got the InMotion S1 and the uh, e, uh, the V13 here. Ideally, you want to charge these to, you don't want to fully charge these if you're not going to be using the wheel for, for a certain amount of time. So 80% is sort of storage charge for the batteries. Um, with this unit, uh, this is the prototype, the, the production one that is here. So I'll show you that. Um, you will, you'll be able to partially charge your, your vehicles and it's pretty important for battery, for the, for the longevity of the battery um, and also uh, other reasons. So let's get into this today and we'll see what it's all about. Down and have a look at this. This is the uh, charger and hunter. This is how it comes sent from PidZoom. So Bob will send a bunch of adapters that, if, that you've selected when you buy the, the unit online. Um, one also comes with one of these cables is here, which actually connects to your charger. Now this is a fast charger, a variable charger. It's most chargers won't look like that. They'll just be set voltage, set amps. So that one's a bit, little bit special. But at, uh, so we, we're gonna look, look at unboxing this now. So this is a little beauty. Uh, very nice packaging, by the way, Bob. So we've got a full color manual uh, with everything you need to know about what the charger, the enhancer does. It's not a charger, it's, an, it's a smart charger enhancer. Um, it's, com it's compatibility, it, uh, it's got all the uh, status, the input voltage, the over, over current protection, uh, the charging time, the charging power, the watts, um, and then the internal temperature of the actual unit itself, and we've got charging codes. So this unit does uh, 30 volts to 100, 40 I believe um, at 30 amps so that's a great sort of coverage to start with um, we have all the uh, description here of what you need to know about the unit um, the thresholds for the output pretty much everything actually it's really good now one thing I like about this book is that he's included the codes the charging codes uh, the one being normal manual interruption voltage limit current protection temperature protection charging completed uh, current sensor fault and a MOSFET fault. Uh, it's got the specs on this page and my favorite is this page which is state of uh, state of charge. So this one here when we can actually we can actually see at what percentage so if we want to charge our battery to 80% he's basically made it easy for us to see what we need to set the voltage to and that way we'll know if we're at 80% 70% so you can see the here is the is the percentages there so you can just put that in on the unit and that that'll actually dictate of how much percentage you're going to have left so let's have a quick look at the unit so that's how it comes like that let's chuck that over there look at this look at this little beauty so i've got an output goes to the wheel we've got an input uh we've got really nice packaging here i like the green as well and we're going to grab the end and we're going to stick it straight into the input and here we're going to have our in and out and our set uh, over over uh, voltage protection um, with the amps and our amp hours of the battery going back in and how many watts are being used to charge and there's our codes um, now you can calibrate this as you can see over here on my charger we've got 126 to 127 volts now, if I grab the voltmeter and I check, I check the, let's have a look here, and I check the voltage that's coming out of the charger here, we put that on like this, like that, we can fine tune this quite well. So if we look here, 
you'll see 127 6.7 volts and if we look on them on there on there and then we plug it in we'll, we should see 126.7 volts which we do down here so down there 126.7 volts close enough so i've actually calibrated this um there is a man there is a, a part in the manual if you look in the manual for calibration there's actually a part for calibrating uh, which is pretty pretty self-explanatory if anyone needs any help uh, or a video done let me know it's around here somewhere there we go to calibrate uh, and on this page as well so it's pretty simple to follow and that way you can calibrate your unit to your power supply uh, or your charger and we're good to go so here we have 126.6 volts um, and 10 amps is what I want to put into the wheel I can select different amounts by clicking on the button and I can up or down the what happens is if the charger outputs more than that voltage set that, that it will turn off if it if it outputs more than 10 amps it'll turn off so it keeps everything in line and safe uh, this number here represents how many amp hours or watts we can choose between the two uh, like this of is going back into the battery and that'll dictate to us the battery um, overall uh, percentage battery like as in the status the, how good the battery is performing and how where it is in a state of a hundred percent so yeah pretty much you want to charge your wheel to from 10 percent to a hundred percent uh, fully charge it and that way you'll see exactly how many amp hours or watts have gone back into the battery you then take that away from the, the manufacturer's specs of the battery and you will have a overall percentage of your battery health um, now the main reason I like this is for the partial charging of course uh, we have an NS S1 over there so we're able to do the same principle. We get the uh, we get the charge lead. Uh, Bob will have these on his website. These are for the S1. Um, you can buy whatever adapter you need for your device because they are different. I'll leave the link down below. Uh, and we basically pop that in there like that, and then we stick the other end in, and we set our voltage. Um, and that's pretty much self. That's pretty much it for that. Why should I invest my money and buy one of these CE140 smart charger enhancers from PidZoom that that uh, I don't already get from my current charging setup? Well, I've come up with about four different things, maybe five. Um, and the first one would be to, that you're able to see all your information when you're charging on the fly. You don't have to open any apps. It's all there in front of you. You can see exactly how many amp hours, what hours are going back into the battery, uh, what the voltage is, so for me, um, I like to monitor my batteries while I'm charging, um, as well as just walking away from it sometimes. So uh, not having to pull out the phone is a good, good, definitely a good thing for me. The second would probably be actually to evaluate the decay of the batteries. So we can charge our batteries from say 50% to 100%. Uh, we can see how many amp hours, how many watts have gone back in, or watts gone back into the battery. We can then take that away from the battery total uh, watt hours and we will actually then be able to dictate a number of per a percentage of how the battery is performing. Um, and anything under 80% it means the battery is, is gone too far and you're going to have issues. Um, the, you know, there might be other issues as well uh, like the BMS or cell, cell balancing or even some dead cells. Um, but basically it's going to be unhealthy and you'd probably need another one. The charging at 100% is not a good thing. So probably storage charge to say 80% when you're not using the wheel for a period, even up to even even if you're not using the wheel until the next day, charge 80% then charge 20% before you leave. That's going to give you longevity of the battery and it's going to stop them from bulging and all sorts of problems that you have with batteries. Um, so basically the third one would be that you can customize your charging voltage and your current overcurrent protection um, basically can be a step down but can't be a step up um, and doing this will achieve long battery life and safer charging um, and just gives you that extra safety level a layer as well between the two 
Um, the fourth one would be that most of the latest, uh, well, yeah, most of the latest that smart BMS wheels like the S22 or the V13, um, the Extreme or the Lynx, all begin selling balancing at around 80% um, of the max voltages. For the older wheels and scooters and all that sort of stuff, um, yeah, it's true that they, they don't uh, balance to the, to the end, to the top end voltage. So um, it is a good thing every 20 cycles or every month to just to, to make sure they're fully charged up. Um, the way I tend to do it is I put my threshold on my voltage up a little bit. Um, so therefore it's not the, the smart charger enhancer isn't gonna kick off at exactly 126 and not charge your cells. Um, all your cells, I basically put that slightly above by about uh, a volt or two, and that will allow the the, the charger to then balance all, all the cells needed. Um, this is how I do it, and it seems to be working fine after all my testing. So, if you want one of these, I'll put a, the link below. Uh, you'll get five percent off with my code. It's EC crazy. And uh, if you have any questions or anything, pop it down below in the comments. And uh, I've got other products coming from PidZoom, so I'll do a review on those as well. And uh, safe riding, and we'll see you in the next video. See you guys.